What's up guys, Ryan here from Mudgunner and today I have a pretty cool video to talk to you about. So I've talked about the M4A1s in the past, the block one, two, and three, which I have all of them here right now, but today we're specifically gonna be talking about the block three, which is the URGI. So a quick rundown of them are, they're basically all 14 and a half inch barrels. On the block ones, you had these old school Knights Armament rails they are just two piece uh, carbine rails. They replaced your polymer handguard. You have a front sight post, and then you have a variety of optics, accessories, and whatnot. This one has a Colt or this one is a cold, it has an Aimpoint Comp M2 and a magnifier. And yeah, so this is basically your block one build or just vibe that you get from it. So that's a block one. And then block two was a free float rail and you have the Daniel Defense free float rail is that. Again, 14 and a half inch barrel, accessories can vary, but yeah, this is a block two. And then block three is a uh, M-Lock rail from Geisley. So again, we're mainly talking about the block three today, but if you want to like know more about them, there's lots of videos and information out there. Again, I did a video talking about all three a while ago, but I just want to talk about the URGI because this is one that I've kind of been building up. I haven't even had a chance to shoot it yet um, just because it takes some time to get rifles set up. But the most recent addition was this optics mount from Badger Ordnance. So this is a Vortex Razor HD one to six. It's a second gen. And originally it was on my Daniel Defense M4A1 there, but um, when I got this rifle, I was like, you know, I think the Razor HD, the LPVO is gonna look better on the URGI build. So I took it off there, put it on here, and I pulled this EOTech off a uh, different gun. And I've just kind of been playing around. Occasionally when you get new items or guns, you move stuff around. So that's kind of what, what I've been doing these last few months is moving stuff around, trying to make it, you know, more rounded out because an EOTech or an Aimpoint would look really good on here, but for all the different blocks, I wanted to set them up differently. So that's why we're doing LPVO on this. This is my only really nice LPVO. I have a Vortex Strike Eagle as well, and that works really well. That's on my Dignity Defense, which is my tactical games rifle. Works really well. That optic has gotten beat up, so I do perfectly fine with a $400 LPVO, but this Razor HD looks really good on here and it shoots well. I used to shoot this on there, but again, I haven't shot it on this one yet. So this week I swapped out the uh, American defense mount that I had on there. It was like a taller black mount. I kind of just want to really build this a specific way. So I wanted the matching mount, but this is a Badger Ordnance 1.7 inch high mount. I was also looking at the Geisley one, but I like a little bit taller um, sight. So this looks really good for me on here and the eye relief is actually pretty far. So this is perfect for me right here. Yeah, so on a Badger Ordnance 1.7 inch mount, and I'm kind of cloning this off of uh, Grand Thumb's build because he had a similar setup. Um, I don't know if he was using the one to six. I think he's using like a one to eight or one to 10, but yeah, I'm using the one to six. I might at some point do an offset red dot. And then um, light wise, right now I have a Surefire Scout light on here. What I'd like to do is get a pressure pad for it, but again, everything costs money. So for now it's just ran with the um, back pressure pad on the light, the tail cap and I run it a little bit higher so I can take my suppressor off if I need to, because if I have it too low to the rail, um, the suppressor's a pain to get off. But you see, just from this angle, it's in a good spot. I can still get my thumb on there, no problem. And yeah, it's a pretty cool build. So this is a Geisley near clone correct upper. So it's a complete Geisley upper, and then it's on a Brownells lower at the moment. I'm looking at some point to get a Geisley lower for it because I like keeping things one brand if I can, like just a complete Geisley rifle, I think that'd be sick. But right now I can't call it a complete Geisley rifle. It's a Geisley upper on a Brownells lower. And it's a really nice lower. So, I mean, they're all built roughly the same, but it's got a Geisley trigger in there. We got a B5 stop mod stock, just an A2 grip. Um, and yeah, besides that, I don't know what Geisley trigger it's in there, but I got this lower from a friend of mine, but just a nice two stage trigger. Um, he got the UID code on there. And then I don't think it's running a Geisley buffer, but no, it's just running an H buffer. So yeah, it's a pretty cool build so far. Like I said, haven't shot it. I need to shoot it, but um, I will at some point now that it's actually fully set up. So um, with the Geisley Near Clone Correct Uppers, it's a 14 and a half inch upper. They also do a 10.3 and an 11.5. I just wanted the 14.5. And they come with a pinned Surefire four prong flash hider, which is really nice because I have the RC2 suppressor. So four prong flash hider, and then it's their uh, SMR rail or SMR 16 rail. I forget what they call it, but yeah. The way you'll know a actual like clone correct rail is it has these little tabs here, which I know it's like minute, but it's just part of the clone thing. Cause uh, if you buy like the normal DDC rail, um, it does not have those locking tabs. So that's kind of one of the main differences. Besides that, they're very similar, almost the same. 
So on the URGI, which stands for Upper Receiver Group Improved, they went to an M-lock rail instead of this quad rail. And then they went to a mid-length gas system instead of a carbine length gas system. So you basically have a longer gas tube. What that's gonna help with is it's gonna uh, maybe not loosen or soften the recoil. You might notice it a little bit. It's gonna make it lighter on your wear and your parts. And especially when you're suppressing it, um, it should reduce the back pressure a little bit. I, I don't know how noticeable it'll be, but yeah, that's one thing is the rail, the mid-length gas system. It's got a cold hammer forged barrel and yeah, it's just a really nice Geisley upper. So it's when it's their complete upper, you get their bolt carrier group, their charging handle. And yeah, it's super sick. I think the military is mainly using it for the rails and I think they're using Daniel defense barrels. I don't know. There's a lot of information that goes into all those military contract stuff. But for, for the Geisley one, it's all of their parts on the upper besides the Surefire obviously. But I'm running a Blue Force gear sling. It's a two point padded sling. And yeah, so far I'm really digging it. Um, I like running accessories like grips and everything on there, but I don't know, it kind of looks cleaner, plain. I do have some BCM just rail covers on the bottom right now, but this rail looks really sick, just kind of bare, even though it's meant to, you know, hold a bunch of stuff. So at some point, if I ever get like a peck or a laser or some type of thing, I might run it on here. Um, this sits tall enough that I could run a peck and it, I would still be able to look through it, no problem. And then the next thing at some point would be moving the light over and then running a pressure pad. But yeah, I mean, that's kind of just my URGI build. I really like it so far and can't wait to shoot it and actually like get it complete. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this. Hope you guys enjoyed. On a side note, so my car crapped the bed this morning, which kind of sucks. It's sitting on a trailer right now. Some of you guys have been following that. Um, what I'm trying to do to help fund a new vehicle, and I probably need to fund a new vehicle this coming week, I'm selling my patches on my website and they're 10 bucks. It, this is a PVC patch. It's uh, my patch wrap patch. If you collect them, it's pretty cool, I think. And then if you buy that patch, I will throw in these two stickers for free. So $10 for the patch, you get these two stickers. I got my Brass Goblin logo, patch wrap logo in sticker form. And then shipping ends up being like $4.90. So for 15 bucks, you'll get all of this and it's gonna help support me getting a new vehicle because now it's, I was trying to push it off till like later in the year, but now it's basically a necessity that I need a new vehicle um, vehicle wise. I've given it a lot of thought and obviously everyone has their own opinions. It's no different than guns. We all recommend what we like or, you know, uh, shit on what we don't like, but I am really, really leaning towards a Toyota because um, everyone, every one of my friends has one, almost every one of my friends have one and they're just reliable. I, I really trust like what all my friends have to say, friends and family that own them. And yeah, I'm leaning towards Toyota. I've been looking at a lot of used ones but the pricing and the financing fees for uh, used stuff, it's just pretty bad. So we might lean towards a newer vehicle. Um, I'm trying not to get into like major car debt because I know cars are expensive right now, but I think it's important for the channel because right now I can't go shooting in the desert um, unless my friends take me. So I want to lighten the load on them, have my own off-road vehicle. And yeah, I think it's time to just do that. I've been running my car since 2017 and yeah, it's just not doing so hot anymore. And it's literally sitting on a trailer right now. So. Yeah, if you guys are looking to support the channel, if I could sell 100 of these this weekend, that'd be super sick. Gets me a little bit closer to my goal of having a new vehicle and you get some cool patches and stickers. Also, I know I'm kind of limited on my shirts on there, but if you buy a shirt, I will give you my Mud Gunner patch. And then if you buy any other stickers, shipping ends up being like four bucks. If you buy any sticker on my website, I will give you another sticker for free. It'll be a random sticker, but it'll be different than the one you ordered. So if you guys could do that and help support the channel, that'd be awesome. Also, check back for tomorrow because I'm doing some viewer builds tomorrow on clone rifles. So it's going to be a pretty cool video. We got some good builds that were sent my way. I did this last week on your favorite builds or your first builds. So tomorrow's topic is clone builds. And then next Friday, we'll have a new topic. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching. And yeah, hope you enjoyed.